It's your boy Dwayne Patrick and you're watching BNG TV. You think you know me? Time's here, ladies and gentlemen. I've got Mr. Dwayne Patrick's, and yeah. hope, as you can see, you know, I've gone to the extent of you know, building you know, a studio for you, yeah, you man. know, so you know, a home away from home. Yeah, man, I get some bangers on there, man. Nice environment, you know, beautiful, man. So, whenever you're free, you know, feel free to come and you know, do Definitely. some magic in here. Right, after this, we can get it popping, man. Definitely, you're right. I, I, I can do a little thing. <laughs> I can do a little thing. I can do a little thing. Yeah, cool, man. But yeah, we want to know who you know, the man, Mr. Dwayne Patrick's, is, you know. Want you to tell us about you know your journey you know before you were on jump off yeah. the jump off experience and you know where you're going to take it into the future so you know for the people out there that don't know but should know who Dwayne Patrick is you know just give them a brief introduction um yeah I'm Dwayne Patrick I make music um from my heart you know um my music's based on experiences that I do every day what happens to me every day um if I have an argument or I'm happy I put it into the music you know um. I just make music from my heart, you know. Um, I've been making music from from when I was in my mum's belly. Wow. It's like, I'd be kicking in rhythm. <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously, man. I'd be kicking in rhythm. And um, forever, I just love music. I've, I've been like one of them kids that love music. Um, while while, while um, the kids would be on the playground playing, I'd be in the studio. Um, while I'm meant to be studying, I'd be, I'd be in the studio just banging out them beats, man. Mm. You know, I, some say it's a cry for help. Yeah, but I just, I, you know, I just do what I feel to do. You know, I feel like making a beat right now. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, after the interview, we're gonna get straight into that. Yeah, Definitely. man, I just love music. You know, yeah. And uh, one thing I can definitely feel of you is your passion for it yeah you know a lot of people at home or like young kids they might have a passion for something and you know their parents don't really support them is that something you always had your parents support in terms of always going down the road of being a producer you know it is yeah my mom my mom and my mom and dad caribbean and that so it's really a thing where like back in the day it was like oh go upstairs and read your book you know what i'm saying even the them ones but now, like I want to jump off it, like, they can actually see what I've been doing and that, and it's like, it, but actually the whole family can actually see what I'm doing now, and they, they kind of see my vision more now. So um, definitely, especially after you won, you know, five thousand pounds. Yeah, yeah, man. See. Don't yeah. know, yeah, for real. Everyone's all asking and that for some people. No, but <laughs> seriously though, man, I've been, um, I love music and that, and um, I got, I got a lot of support around me, you know. I got a lot of people supporting me around, around, around especially now as well. They can see the vision. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful thing, man. You know, it, I, it's always important to have like the cr the correct people around you. You know, to tell you like, yeah, that sounds sick. Because you can get mi you can get you can get lost, man. Definitely. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going into jump off now. Okay. Where you got the famous, you know, <laughs> the famous hashtag Mr. Net Movement, Mr. Yeah. Chewing Gum. Yeah. Wanna, yeah wanna. Sure, How yeah. did the whole experience come along? Um, I was in the studio with um a guy, uh, um artist named Merkton. Um, and the engineer at the time was um, Jerome. Um, he was like, he, he, uh, like he heard the beat, and he was like, "Yeah, man, you should do jump. You should do jump off." I was like, um, "I knew what jump off was, but I wasn't really. I wasn't really like. I wasn't I'm not really on that." But he was like, "Yeah, man, you should do it. Man. You'd be good at it." I was like, "Okay, cool, I'll do it." And then I kind of forgot about it. And then a week later, I, was like, I got a message saying, that, that email saying that, "Yeah, you're but you're coming on Monday." I was like, "Raw, like, yeah." Came down, my brother. Went on stage, I was nervous, yeah, but went on stage, blocked the audience out, and I just done my thing, man. Mm. And I just, you know, just focused and just done what I do, what I've been doing for years, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. What's the feedback been? Feedback's great, you know, I've got a lot of um, DJs following me, you know, um, like known DJs following me. Um, management, a lot of different management contacted me, artists as well, like interested, like DJ Ironic just hollered me mm -hmm. on Twitter. Um, Sneak Bowl is interested in my production. Um, Lady Leisha, loads, bear, yeah. like bear artists just interested in my work, and I've, I love that man. Cool. Yeah. Obviously, you're passionate. You're very someone that's very humble. Yeah. Considering the level of talent that you have. Yeah. So for you, what is a right move, and what is something you know? What is the do's and don'ts for you in terms of a producer? For example, you're talking about management is now hollering at you. Certain artists are hollering at you for beats. You know, I'm P Diddy now. I holler at you on the phone. I'm like, yo. Patrick, I want you to come and sign to Bad Boy and, you know, do what you have, do what you do. You what? know, 
I, I just follow my heart, you know. Like even before I knew who Lady Leisha was, that she knew she knew me, she, she knows me as well. Mm. But uh, I used to be in a studio. I used to be in a studio with her, but I didn't end up working with her. But it's only now that I'm working with her because I feel that I'm ready to work with her now. Okay. You know, I don't just do make music for the sake of making music or working with someone for the sake of working with them just because they got a name. Mm. I want to make sure that it's it's a banger. I want to make sure it's right, you know. And only recently I've made a track for her. You know, I thought yeah. I thought that if if for her you know so I, I just do what i feel i do what i feel you know yeah when when you feel it's the right time yeah to man i don't just do it for the sake of it man i follow the heart and mm. and i let that lead it man lead cool. the way whatever situation is whether it's management or whether it's artist or mm. anything you know I just do what i feel is right you know i heard you also heard me say you know p diddy comes in for you yeah. one of his artists i heard you know a little birdie told me in the studio working with or not in the studio necessarily but you know you've got a little situation happening with french montana can you share a little light on that <laughs> yeah but basically i believe in law, law of attraction you know even with um the situation i've been i was in with monica okay um in my head like i've got this thing where i make m- music for like i'll be in a studio i say this is for beyonce i said and people come to me and ask for the beat like do you want that beat i'll be like i can't give it to you if i'm like this is for Beyonce. And everyone will laugh, like, <laughs> like, I'll say this is for Beyonce. Like, everyone will laugh at me, but it's, I'm being honest, I really believe that I've made this beat Be- for Beyonce. And um, um, I must have been in, uh, in, in college, second mm. year college, and Matthew Knowles hollered me. Um, wow. Matthew Knowles, yeah, through uh, contact, through contact, and hollered me. And that was the closest I ever got to. Like, I thought, I thought that just, I thought that was a little bit of the, um, Law of attraction trick I used, you know. Mm. I didn't know work. I don't. I, I haven't worked with her yet, but I mean that that is that that's what helped me. Um, but so how did that work in terms of you in college? How did he holler at you, or how did he get? I'm um, through um um a songwriter. Okay. That I worked with, named Marie Marina Lili at the time. Um, she was managed by him at the time, and um, yeah, I've actually done a track, and yeah you do not end up going through but th- that's basically how i worked with um monica as well i've done a track for her album it didn't make the album but again like i, I was feeling at the time you know i was feeling a producer and i said i made it i made this beat is for monica Definitely. and the same thing with french montana um i, I put, um I actually said i worked with him before i've been worked with him you know um some girl hollered me from the states said um yeah, and boom, 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 contact from from Atlanta, boom, 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 and he actually agreed to do the the the, the beat that's currently on YouTube. Okay. You know, he actually agreed to it, so I actually put up him. Um, I was working with French Montana before I even worked to him. You know, what I'm saying, um, I should be getting that verse real soon, and I will keep everyone updated. You know. Definitely. So, how long was the whole jump off experience? How long did it all last for? I think it was two months. No, four months. I think. Yeah, four months. Yeah, yeah. That's decent to win five thousand pounds. That's not that's not too bad. Yeah, man, it's beautiful, man. I have no more red letters. <laughs> no more red letters, no more. You know. Mm. Um. Yeah, yeah. So with that money, what did you do? Did you reinvest it back into what you do, or is it something that you know you just had a little yolo moment and just had fun with it? <laughs> no, I'm never that man. You never catch me doing that yolo mm. moment thing. Um, I invested it um into um a business that I currently run called ICAM Project. Okay. Um. Yeah, into a book. That I wrote as well. Okay, you've got it over there. Yeah. Right. A book that I wrote called I Can, children's book. Basically, just a book positive affirmation. These are all the things that um I was told I couldn't do. Okay. So I basically put into a book. So it's like I can read. Okay. I can write. And at the end of the page, at the end of the page, it's got the lyrics of the song called um. That's the lyrics of the song. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. That's the lyrics there. I can be successful. I can be whatever I want to be. Have to believe I'm special. I will never give up on my dreams, so long as so long as I believe. Mm-hmm. And people will probably think, oh, it's a children's book. They can't read that. But mm. what I've done, I've made a children's CD at the back, and that's actually the lyrics of the song. So um, I've got like three years old singing that song and actually saying that lyric. So that's 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 know. that's pretty amazing. How did the whole idea come across? Um, many. I was in a. I was in a situation a deep situation where um I had a business went downhill mm. you know it went bankrupt um studio got robbed i was in religion crisis it was mad you know 
and something just told me I can, you know. Mm. And ever since there, I can, you know. I've just been doing so much positive things. I fought my way out of the situation. I was fell in love with the idea. Yeah. I can, and I'm here right now. I'm just, you know, everything just manifests right now. Like mm. I'm here, you know. Definitely. You know. I think that's a great testament to people as well. Like you know, what I mean, mm. you can never know how life can change for a positive. Yeah. In, you know, in the space of a few months or even a few years, as long as you have that, you know, kind of mindset. Definitely, man. You know, I just um, I fell in love with the idea. I can. Like, I couldn't sleep. Mm. I just I, I couldn't eat. I just was writing, writing, writing. You know, just I just fell in love with the concept. You know, and it's the business. My business today. Mm -hmm. Um, that that I recommend to everyone. Just um, if you have an idea. Just make it manifest, run with it, man. Don't give up, you know. Everything's an idea. Like the camera that I'm looking at right now, that was an idea. Yeah. You know, the mic, it's an idea. Everything right now is an idea. The chair, mm -hmm. everything was an idea at one point. Uh, someone had to convince another group of people that um, to basically invest and, and, you know, everything was an idea at yeah. one point. As, as We're I'm now living. Yeah. Through that idea, that's what I'm saying. You know, what I'm saying. As I'm talking of ideas as you're talking. I just had a little light bulb <laughs> moment. I'm thinking, me and you, we need to venture into like a little motivational yeah. speaking kind of thing. Yeah, about. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not really a speaker, but I like I'm on it. Hey, now you make the beats. I'll do the motivational <laughs> speaking over done the beats. Done, yeah? I'm on it. Yeah, yeah. done. We'll do fifty-fifty. On yeah, that. let's go. Documenting it on camera, so you have to <laughs> yeah. make sure you know we stick to it. Yeah, man. Done. Yeah, definitely. I'm on that, man. Yeah, definitely. And you see, music is your passion. Yeah. One thing I was doing my research about you, and I like looking at you when you're in the studio. It's like I don't know, you morph into a different kind of person. It's like you come alive, and like I don't know, it's just it, it's like another character takes over you. Yeah, man, I feel so alive in the studio. I feel so good, you know. I, like I just, it's a whole different me. I, if I, if there was like a keyboard here, and there was like we was making some sounds, I'll be so I'll be a different person, you know. Mm. I just feel so alive, and you know. I love doing what I do, you know. Okay. You know, I thought so that's why it's really important for me to kind of work with certain people. I can't work with people that are like negative, you know. It's important for me to work with positive people, got good concepts because that's my music. My music is me. Mm. You know, that's what's in me. That's you know, that's the manifestation. But it's, oh, it's deep, man. I don't even want to get into that, but it's deep, man. Yeah, my definitely. music is me, basically, man. Because I'll see you be like, hey, what do you think of that? Don't mug yeah, me. It's yeah. like you're yeah. you're on it in that moment. You're living it. You're like, yo, I need to add this ad lib. I need to do this. And it's yeah. like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's really good to see people, you know, take that much emphasis into their passion and, you know, do what they want to do. They played, um, they played, they played uh, Komale. Yeah. Featuring, um, Rex Free 2. Page Keiki, Rebla, Benny Busy. Okay. Um, they played that the other day, and I was yeah. And what's the name of the track again? Komale. That that's a Nigerian. Yeah, it's Nigerian. It's Ni I forget what it means. It was in the studio discussing it, mm -hmm. but I forget what it means. I can't, I can't remember. But and yeah. how did that come across? Um, I was in the studio making a banger, um, and and then we got Benny in, and Benny Benny Benny's a bit fussy sometimes, you know. So mm -hmm. what we had to do, we had to send it to um, another producer named C Figures, okay. which he helped with it as well. He helped with it as well. Big up C Figures, man. Um, which he co-produced co actually. Um, yeah, and then you know we, we um, Rich part was already laced already. Um, I sent it to Paige Cakey, she was on it, and Rebler killed it, you know, and everyone just killed it, and it's a banger and. Mm -hmm. You know, we just, you it's know. got a slight Afrobeat twist to it. Yeah, as well. yeah. We wanted the um, Afrobeat sound and the uh, funky house sound with a bit of soul. Everything we do is a bit of soul. So we need that soul. You know, we need that soul, man. That soul music. Yeah, man. Cool. So what are you working on right now? Yeah, right now I'm just pushing the Icon. Um, this is the book, but I'm pushing the um, Icon EP as well. You can get that online. Mm -hmm. um, um, the song that I have right now is called Icon featuring No Lay. Okay. Um, Rebla, no, sorry. Nole, Rochi, Merkston and Benny Busy. That's out now. Um, great feedback um, on Graham Daily and a few other channels. Okay. Um, we're getting ready to put out another video. Um, it's called I Can Again, featuring Double S and Rebla. Okay. Um, that's amazing. Um, the EP just feel good. I, I recommend people download that. You know, I listen to it and it inspires me to kind of um, to keep pushing, man. If you were to put any plugs out there, where can people, you know, purchase the book? You know, listen to the music. Um, I th um, you can uh, YouTube, YouTube. Okay. Um, it's Dwayne Patrick. That's it, Dwayne Patrick TV, I think. Yeah, Dwayne Patrick TV. Um, um, 
um, my website www.icamproject.co.uk um, SoundCloud as well okay. um, Death Dwayne Patrick yeah cool that's it man yeah man Appreciate thank that. you for having me man no, thank you very much for stopping by oh, the studio yeah, done, and no. you know right now we're gonna cut the cameras we're gonna get down to business if we make the beat done. I'll you know try to do my little you know rapping and Let's you know go. you can show us how you know how things come to life yeah maybe we can upload it after as well yeah definitely we'll put that on the, we'll put that on the channel as well yeah oh, okay, man. thank you very much Dre. cool cheers I can be. Just I can be. Special. I can be. Just I can be.